Midjourney is an absolutely fantastic text to image AI tool, but it does take a bit of learning to be able to create images. And that's because it uses a Discord server and you need to know the correct prompts to use. But recently Midjourney have released a new alpha and it's an absolute game changer. Let's take a look. So because I've produced over a thousand images in Midjourney, I've been invited to take part in the new Midjourney Alpha. Now straight away what's great about this is that it doesn't use the Discord interface. It's straight on midjourney.com and it looks like this. So this would be your home page and this is where you would do all of your prompts and create all of your images. Now if we take a quick look, you can see along the left hand side, it's a lot easier to kind of explore what other people are doing and also search for inspiration. So say if we wanted to look at some inspiration for some coloring pages, we can straight away search and see what other people are doing and maybe that will give us some ideas for our next coloring book. So just scrolling through here, you can see some really nice coloring pages and say if we like this one here, you can click on it and you can even copy the prompt and then use that for yourself. So straight away, if you're using it for inspiration, it's absolutely fantastic and it's all in one place. Below that you have Create, and that has all of your creations that you've made using Midjourney. So one of the best things about the Discord server part of Midjourney is the ability to create sections so that you can kind of order and organize your creations. That doesn't seem to be here just yet, but it still does give you easy access to your latest creations, and it allows you to search through them as well. The Archive section is great, this allows you to search through your previously created images. If you just want to search through the ones you've upscaled, for example, you just click the upscale. If you just want to search through your portraits, click the portrait. And when you're going through and creating, if you start liking your images, you can then just search through the ones you've liked as well. So that's kind of the base of what the Mid Journey Alpha looks like. But the big change comes from when you're doing an image prompt. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So now, no longer do you need to do forward slash imagine. It's already there for you. And all you need to do is type in what you're looking for. So for this one, let's say we're creating a kid's book cover and we want a nice, beautiful Easter bunny on the front. You enter your prompt as you usually would, but then you have this filter section. Now on here, what's great about this is you now don't have to do your additional dash dashes and you don't need to know what those prompts are and like search around for them. It now gives you them in a very aesthetically pleasing area. And what I think this does really, really well is it, you know, anybody could go on here, mess around and pick it up. You don't need to learn all the different prompts and all the different like stylizations, etc. So if we go here, say if we want to do a book cover, we know it needs to be portrait. But if we want it to be two by three instead of three by four, we can create that here. Stylization, we can increase or decrease that. The default is at 100. We can increase things like the weirdness, the variety. We can do a standard or raw. Now raw generally follows your prompt a little bit more rather than interpreting it. You can choose your version straight away here, which is where you do your Niji mode or your previous versions of Mid Journey. And then you can choose your speed as well. So seeing as I've got some fast minutes, I'm gonna do it on fast and we're gonna click enter. So what's quite nice about this is instead of showing them in a grid, it shows them as individual images. So that's one difference right there. And say if we liked one of these images, but they weren't quite right, or we wanted to see some more options, we can click very subtle or very strong. So we click very subtle. And let's say we like this one here on the left. It's nice, it's got some nice watercolors on the outside. And if we click on it, we can see some options on the right hand side. So, so on the right hand side, you've got the option to vary it. You can upscale it to be a higher quality. You can remix it. You can pan in different directions. You can zoom or change the aspect ratio. You can rerun or vary region. Or you can use the image as a prompt. So let's try the vary region tool. Let's say that we don't like this part of the Easter egg because it doesn't look super high quality. So let's vary some of the Easter eggs and then click next. In terms of the speed for the prompts, it seems about the same as using the Discord server. 
So I'm on fast mode at the moment, and it's maybe taking around 10 to 15 seconds to do the image prompts. Okay, and here we are. Here is our final image. Now, all you'd need to do is click the download button, and we can use that as our cover. So I'm a really big fan of this Mid Journey Alpha. It does feel like maybe, you know, there's not quite as much control with, you know, the organization of your creations, but for the average user of Mid Journey, this is gonna be an absolute game changer. I also quite like the dark mode. So if we toggle that on now, you can see a dark mode, which, you know, lots of people quite like a dark mode rather than a light mode. And yeah, that's a sneak peek at the Mid Journey Alpha. Now this is likely gonna be rolled out for everyone at some point in the near future, but this is that next step of making AI more accessible to the masses. Just like ChatGPT, you know, it's very easy to enter a command and ask a question, whereas Midjourney probably had that small barrier to entry for people who didn't know how to use Discord or needed to learn the prompts. Whereas using this Midjourney Alpha, it's very easy to use and it opens up that mass appeal of the text to image AI generation. So what I will say is Midjourney isn't going anywhere because it is getting more accessible. So watch this space, keep an eye out for the new version of Midjourney because it is going to blow your mind. Okay, if this video was useful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.